we're going to make ourselves a scrolling banner in Flash. Um, you'll notice now that we're not actually in Flash, we're in Fireworks. And that's because I've prepared three images in Fireworks that I want to scroll on my Flash banner. And the canvas size here is 800 by 200 because I've already thought about how big I want my banner to be and it's going to be that size. You should change those dimensions to suit your own banner. For example, if you're putting it in a website, you should know how big the space it's got to go in is going to be, and you should tweak this accordingly. So I put my three images in, and what I can do with fireworks is I can just save those as one big picture. And I've called it scroll image, and I've saved it in my banner folder. There we go. So that's saving, and I'll go to flash. From the start, I want to create a new action script. And you'll notice that this stage area isn't the right shape, so I want to change that to be 800 by 200. What I'll do to do that is go to Modify Document and change it to be 800 wide by 200 tall. OK, there we go. I'll just fit that in my window to start with, and then I'll zoom out to about 50%. So the next thing I need to do is get this image into flash so file import to library just takes a few seconds to prepare so I just pause that and now I'll browse to my banner folder and I'll click scroll image there we go so open click OK and nothing happens that's because I imported to my library which is over here and I can drag my scrolling image onto my account, onto my stage where it should fit pretty perfectly. And it does. Excellent. This is in layer 1, frame 1. So in layer 1, frame 1, I'm going to move my image so it is just off stage, like that. There we go. And I'm going to make mine animate in fairly quickly, let's say 60 frames, which is about 2.5 seconds or so. Um, I'm going to click there. Oh, before I do this make sure, go back to frame 1, right click your picture um, or even just click on it and go to the convert to symbol and make sure it's a movie clip. There we go. So now I've done that, let's say up to frame 60. Obviously the more frames you choose the longer it will take, the slower it will run. I'll use that. I'm going to right click here and insert a keyframe. There we go. Make sure I've got that last frame selected and I'm going to drag this on to the middle like that. So it's going to start at the edge and move into the middle. Right click anywhere in the timeline here and choose create class between. You'll see that that will animate in like so. Next thing to do, I'm just going to lock that layer so I can't accidentally delete it or move it. I'm going to create a new one called layer 2 and here I'm going to copy this frame into layer 2 so I'll select the last frame in layer 1, right click and copy frames and the first frame in layer 2 I will right click and paste them. There we go. Now, not to get confused here, if I hide layer 2 Layer 1 is going to start on the edge and move into the stage, so I want layer 2 to start in the middle and move off. So I'll just hide layer 1, it starts in the middle, there we go. By the end, I've got to put a keyframe in there, so click in the last frame and insert keyframe. By the end, I want it to have moved off stage, like so. There we go. And I'll right click and insert a tween, I'll create a classic tween. So, if I view both layers, you can see that those images will be scrolling next to each other. So let's just hide layer 2. Layer 1 will start off stage and move on. Back to the beginning. Look what layer 2 is doing. Start in the middle and move off. That's perfect. I hope. So if I run both of them, and I'll press Control and Enter to run it simultaneously, run it continuously, that's what it's going to look like. It's a bit quick, so I might want to use more frames, add more frames in here, just to slow it down a bit, but it's scrolling. There we go. The one thing you might get is a slight hitch 
and I'm not getting it at the moment, but you might get a slight hitch where it just looks like it's jumping a little bit. In fact, it is ever so slightly. So here's how to get rid of that. Clicking for frame, say 59, your penultimate frame, insert a keyframe on both layers, and delete your last frame. Remo right click and remove frames. There we go. And that should now get rid of that little jump and it should scroll a lot more smoothly. So that's how to create a seamless continuous scrolling banner.